Hi there, my name's Daniel and I'm speaking for Gondola Writing Art and Design and today we're going to have a look at making these Halloween jack-o'-lanterns. This one is a more simplified version of this one because this one contains some thicker teeth here and thicker eyes and a nose and it's slightly harder so more experienced users might like to try that. But how do you go about making this one? You start off with a circle tool and make a circle. Then making sure your view is like this so you can see some horizon just to make it a little bit easier. Double click using the select tool on here so you select just that circle. Then if you come over here to the rotate tool click on that and bring it over here so it, get, it turns green. Press and hold shift and bring it down here. If you release shift it will go blue again so don't do that. Press and hold shift and once you've clicked here on the very outermost uh, end point here you can release shift. Then start the rotation but what you need to do is you need to press control and this is going to make a copy. Come up here so it's 90 degrees if you look at the bottom right it says 90 so we can now click and finish the rotation. All you want to do now is take the line tool and make a diameter on the original. What you then do is take the eraser tool and delete this line here and also this line back here. What you do then is you take the follow me tool and click on the original or what's left of it. The follow me tool sometimes makes mistakes so be careful and just undo and try again. Draw around the outside and then when you get there finish and you're left with the sphere. The next step is absolutely crucial so triple click with the select tool on here so select the whole sphere then you do right click and do soften smooth edges I've already got mine open here what you then do is you can bring this slider up and down you want to have it on zero degrees so that you can see everything every face that makes up the sphere what we're going to have to do now is start deleting stuff so I'm going to make some cutouts for the eyes so I'm going to put that in there, put that line in there, take the move tool, select this endpoint here and just move it over to this endpoint here. I can then take the eraser tool and delete that line down the middle. Don't delete faces because you will have to delete the lines afterwards as well. What we can see if we can see through here is that there is now a hole. A little bit hard to see because the back is also white but there's a hole there. Take the line tool and do the same on the other side. So now we have the two eyes. If we just delete the lines in here we have a very suitable nose as well. Nice and easy. Now you're going to use this bit down here to make a space for the mouth we're going to have to put in some teeth and the way we do this is just quite randomly start making lines making sure you go from each line to the next and not leaving it with a gap so go through all the way making these teeth I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible you may spend some more time on this just getting it exactly how you would like it but for time purposes I'm just going to do it pretty quickly. If you then do the bottom set of teeth as well you may like to miss one out for a, a missing tooth. Um, you may as well. It makes it look slightly more authentic and keep going till you finish. If you take the eraser tool now and press and hold it you can go very quickly in the middle of these and delete all of these lines so now we're left with a nice gap there if we're going to do some colouring now just to see what we've got 
take the select tool, triple click, so selecting everything. And I'm going to use this orange here on the outside. And on the inside, I'm going to use a darker orange. So we have this very basic uh, start to the pumpkin. But what we need to do now is we need to make a stalk at the top. What I've got is this, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to colour it first so we can see what we're doing. Take the push-pull tool and pull this up here a little bit. Next, double-click on the top, not triple-click because otherwise we'll select the whole pumpkin. Just to double-click, use the scale tool and you can shrink this down a little bit. Now what you do is use the push-pull tool on the side here and pull this out a little bit. Notice how there's a gap because of this angle up here. So what you can do, if you double click here, you can pull this down and choose where you would like it. I'm going to have it there. If you select this line up here and again use the move tool, move that across there. So we have this uh, pyramid which has had its top cut off. I'm just going to finish this off by using push pull on the top there as if it's just been cut off up here. So there we have the basic version. To get it smooth like this, triple click again using our soften edges tool, just drag this up all the way to the top and then it's nice and smooth. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. There should be a few more coming along soon. And I haven't done one in a while, so good to get this one out there. Bye for now.